Allo, allo, allo. Move, move. You look so fresh as if you are coming to a Let's keep moving. I'm very tired. You are you, 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 strong, man. What do you do? Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, I'm about to Please mind the road also. Uh, but please ensure people are not overrun. Viva Steve 
President, I'm 2026. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, comrades. What we are seeing are actions of little frightened men, scared of their own shadows because of the many crimes they have committed against the Zambian people. But it will not take them anywhere. They promise things they can't do. They promise the policy bonds for bondable offenses, they don't do it. But it's a good thing. 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 Moving on to Zambia in the Falf. The opposition leader have been arrested in a country over the sedition charges. Fred Membe, the leader of Zambia's Socialist Party, was arrested on Thursday. His arrest comes if he came to a post that the leader of the Democratic Republic of Kowo, Felix Tshisekedi, had paid his Zambian counterpart, Hakainbe Hichilema, millions of dollars to buy off criticism. In an article published on the 16th of July on the Zambian whistleblower Facebook page, Mende claimed to have Ikikshere have revealed to his critic that he will stay in power no matter what they do. This is he has bought off support from the regional leaders. As per the article, Tikshere have said that he had paid millions of dollars to the region of leaders, including a sum of $20 million to the Zambian leadership. Membe, in his article, demanded that the Zambian authorities come keep on Tikshere's huge payout canes. The Zambian police say the content of this article intends to bring hatred or to incite disaffection against the government. Membe will now appear in court to respond to the charges. The 65-year-old is a journalist and a lawyer. He has often clashed with authorities that have outspoken criticism of Zambia's government led by Hakeem de Hichinema. The journalist running the face of the page, the Zambian whistleblower, was also arrested on Tuesday on the same charges. His arrest was made as an article on the page alleged that a government department was renting office space from a building owned by the Zambian president.